Good day, students. Um, I-explain ko sa inyo how to accomplish your activity for the module entitled Control Process. By the way, the module is posted on Edmodo. And please read it before answering. And watch this before answering this activity. So, there are two activities intended for this module, the Control Process. The first activity is all about extension price and par value. So, we will be computing for the safety stock, total items needed, actual number of or actual number of items to be ordered, and extension price. I discuss ko yan isa isa. So, the name of our restaurant would be Quarantine Restaurant. And in computing those items that is needed for you to complete this table, the condition given is that the buffer stock or the safety stock, buffer or safety stock are the same. The buffer for non-food is 50% and for food items would be 30%. Bakit mas mataas ang sa non-food items? Mas mataas sa non-food items because non-food items are not susceptible or are not um, easily spoiled, easily perished. Most likely, they are non-perishable until you use it. Pero sa food items na spoil sila, na sisira sila, napapanis sila. Kaya mas mababa ang buffer natin. Later on, I will discuss um, in details kung ano yung buffer. So, in this table, or in, oh yeah, in this table, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You have 8... Uh, columns. So, the first column contains of the item. Dito sa item, hindi yan nakakategorize if it's a food item or non-food item. So, in answering this activity, you have to manually identify kung saan dito sa items na to ang non-food at food items. Because, kailangan yung i-identify so that you know kung anong percentage of safety stock is applicable to that specific item because for food non-food items 50% and food items 30%. Ang tinatawag naman nating par level, ito ang required na needed items, needed stock for a certain period of time. So for example, gagamitin natin for this for quarantine restaurant, weekly tayong magpapadali weekly tayong may delivery. Weekly tayong may delivery ng mga items na to. So weekly ang gagamitin nating period. Ibig sabihin lang nito, weekly kailangan natin ng 48 tins of milk. Weekly kailangan natin ng 30 pieces of trash bag. Weekly, kailangan natin ng 15 bottles of dishwashing liquid. Yun lang ang ibig sabihin ng par level, yung kinakailangan. Ngayon, ang tinatawag naman nating safety stock or the buffer stock, ito yung pang-emergency ninyo. For example, kailangan nga natin ng 48 tins of milk. Ngayon, nagamit natin yung 1 tin of milk, kaso hindi masarap yung pagkaluto. So, Napawasan na yung kailangan mo. Dito ngayon tayo kukuha sa safety stock. That's why meron tayong safety stock. To get your safety stock, the first thing you have to do is to identify if the item is food item or non-food item. For example, for milk, milk is what? This is a food item. So, ano ang applicable percentage sa kanya? Ang applicable percentage sa kanya is 30%. So, ang gagawin natin to get your safety stock is 48, get the par level for that item, which is milk, 48 multiplied multiplied to what percentage? Of course, it's 30% because it's, it's a food item. So, in in multiplying, apply nyo na yung rule ng um, converting percentage to whole number. So, ang gagawin natin is, ang 30% in whole number is 0.3 because you have to move two decimal places from from the right to the left. So, 1, 2, that's 0.3. So, bibigyan kayo ng 14.4 na safety stock. Ngayon, tanong ko, meron bang 14.4 kayong mabibili na lata ng gatas? 
pwede mo ba ang sabihin sa Tinder ah? Ma'am, pwede po bang ano, 0.4 lakh ang bibilin ko ang lata ng gatas? Siyempre, hindi. So, technically, ang mangyayari dyan is, pag sumobra siya, for example, kahit 14.1, 14.6, kapag sumobra siya sa 14 na, gagawin nyo na dyan, mag a na kayo palagi. So, let's say, ito, ang, we will treat this one as 15. So, gagawin natin siyang 15. Dito, hindi nag-apply ang rule of, ah, uh, tawag dito. Rule of rounding off. As long as sumobra siya, hindi siya whole number. Sumobra siya, for example, let's say 15, 15.1. Kahit sumobra pa yan ng kahit 0.1 lang, magiging 16 na yan. Hindi natin pwedeng sabihin 15 din lang kasi ma'am, point 0.1 lang naman. Ulitin ko, hindi applicable dito sa safety stock ang rounding off of whole numbers. So, every time na magsasobra ka, may point ka, automatic yung mas mataas na number na doon. So, this one, we will use 15. So, itanggalin natin yan, 15. So, ang, to get your total items needed, you just have to add your safety stock plus your par level. So, that's 15 that's 15 plus 48. So, ang total items needed mo for the milk in one week, kasi one week ang ginamit natin, would be 63 teens. Yun yun ha. Now, yung ending inventory, ito yung natira mong teens of milk last week. So, ibig sabihin, may 8 ka pang natitira. Anong gagawin mo dito sa 8? Ahayaan mo na lang ba? Hindi na natin gagamitin yan. Hindi na natin gagamitin yan kasi pang last week na yan eh. No. First thing you have to do is check for their expiration date. Lalong-lalo na if it's a food item. Check for the expiration date and if it qualifies, if it could still be used, then you include it in your ending inventory. Ending inventory is very important to get your actual order because actual order is identified by um, subtracting 63 or your total items needed minus your ending inventory. So, ibig sabihin, 55 lang ang orderin mo kasi meron ka pang natitirang 8 tins of, ka, uh, 8 tins of milk na pwede pang gamitin. So, 55 lang ang orderin mo para wala ka masyadong wastages. Kasi kung 63, ipa-plus mo ulit yung 8, sobra-sobra na yon. So, wala ng control doon. Ngayon, unit price is given, of course. This is given by your supplier. So, for the milk food item, ang unit price natin per teen is 46 pesos. To get your extension price, 46 pesos times 46 pesos is kung magkano yung ano magkano yung presyo ng isang item ng milk so 46 pesos times ilan yung actual na orderin mo 55 that will give you 2530 yan ang actual na gagastusin mo for the item milk so for any questions just feel free to ask me on Edmodo and on our GC, sa FBCCA. I, and I discourage you to, to PM me or to personally message me for questions regarding our activities or regarding our discussions. So that pag sinagot ko, lahat makakakita ng sagot para hindi pa ulit-ulit na natatanong yung mga queries or inquiries. So that's all. This would be ulitin ko, first activity nyo pa lang ito. You will have another one um, on Thursday. So, you could actually, ano, you could actually copy this in a paper, solve, and then take a picture of the paper and submit it in Edmodo. Pwede yun. And last, don't forget pala yung total, lala na sa extension price. Huh? Don't forget the total for the extension price. Thank you.